Hello everyone, this is day seven. Uh, it's a nice home out in the country. But it gets really windy out here. See how the wind's ripped up that, that wrap pretty good. Uh, over there is the Father's Suite. Uh, we'll see that here in a little bit. Uh, this is the main house. It's kind of the way I come in. I've done, like I said, I've done some work on the doors and the windows. And that's the way I keep the doors closed. So here's a window, first window. Uh, the homeowners wanted just a little bit of an overhang on the header. Uh, it's called five quarter. Measures out an inch thick. And why they call it five quarter, I have never really understood because wouldn't that be four quarter? But Five quarter material, so five quarter by six with some one by four casing. And we did a one by four apron on there. They did not want a seal, a window seal. Uh, usually this piece uh, would come out another inch and a half. And then it would, with the casing, you'd have a three quarter inch overhang. And so then three quarter inch on the side. Um, so with eliminating that, we just kept everything all flush on the edge of the casing for the apron and uh, build out the jams, had to rip those out of one by sixes. Um, and then the normal rip was like four and 11 or somewhere around there. And so once you get all the jams made up, I, I nailed on the two side casings onto it, set the window. And once I got it all leveled out and everything, uh, where it looked good on the window. And then I set, cut the header, measured from outside, outside added an inch because then we got our half inch overhang on each side. And then just outside to outside of the casing measurement for the apron, uh, sanded up the edges. You always want to kind of sand up after doing a cut, they'll always leave like marks raw. Uh, the problem with just leaving it with not sanding it is the paint doesn't really hold up very well. It gets sucked in too much and it's really tough for the painters. So if you just take like, um, what I do is take some 80 grit that I've used on my oval sander, and after it's kind of worn down a little bit, I'll take that off, fold it up, stick it in my bag, and use it to, to sand up. Um, but even fresh 80 grit will work too, but just smooth it up and get to where it's basically closed up um, everything uh, on the MDF. So that way when the paint, it sticks better, bonds better. I mean, obviously they're still gonna prime, and so they'll get a good bond with the prime, and then they'll paint, paint up. Um, I do that on all my raw cuts, uh, even on the headers. Uh, I sand all those. I break the edge. Uh, if you look on there, it's got kind of a round over already. So I just kind of match it uh, on the edge there. I, I'll run my sandpaper on the corner and uh, just kind of round that over a little bit more. Uh, it makes it nice. Uh, again, when it's all painted, um, I've had some painters tell me they like that it gets rounded over because uh, the paint sticks to it a little bit better than just a sharp, sharp corner, uh, than just like what you would get off of a, you know, cutting it on the chop saw. Um, so case opening, um, kind of set them the same way as the, a little bit, um, as the doors, but uh, the jams come out the same size, obviously, as the jams on the doors. And then I just figure out my opening that I want. This is a 3-0. 36 inch. Uh, so uh, I've taken the jam stops a long time ago, taken them and put them together, and they give you five eighths of a dog ear uh, that they have at the top, um, or rabbit cut, or what they do, uh, so that you can kind of inset it a little bit more. You can kind of see where it's kind of inset on there. Um, anyways, once it gets inset on there, so that that on each side is like five sixteenths. Uh, so it's like a, a five eighths overall. So I'll measure my, my framed opening and figure out uh, what size uh, is gonna fit in there. And so then I'll go like 36 and five eighths. I'll cut that top piece, nail that all in there. So I've nailed it all together. Uh, then on one side, I'll go ahead and put the casing on uh, obviously not on this side because it usually has to get scribed in if it's too close to a wall. So on this other side, I'll go ahead and nail the casing on while it's down on the floor 
and then I'll kind of walk it up, fit it in the hole, get it all set, get it plumbed, and make sure everything's all good and leveled on the top too, obviously. Uh, and then once I've got that cased out, then I'll go ahead and case out the other side and of course get the header set on there. So uh, this is a pretty nice uh, little floor plan. Um, there's gonna have a, uh, I think they're doing like a custom pantry door, but they're doing a, some glass uh, on the top too. So this is gonna look pretty nice, actually like a window. Um, not just a glass in there, but it's gonna be a window set in there. And uh, this is a master suite. It's actually a his master suite. Uh, he's got his side and uh, pretty nice. Um, that's gonna be a custom door right there going into that. So that's why that, there's nothing there yet. Obviously the kitchen, the living room. Uh, this one was kind of challenging and uh, it was pretty hard with like doing it myself. Uh, I've just kind of been solo for a little bit. So when you're doing things, you know, I mean, obviously gotta find a little technique. So I do the same thing as the case opening on these uh, sliders when I case out the sliders. And so I'll build up the jam all on the floor. I'll put the casing on, nail that on with a quarter inch reveal. And so then I, I just start walking it up. So I'll pick up the header and I'll gradually pick it up. So on this one, I actually had to start like right about this level on both and then get it set towards stay. And then I'd lift this one up a little bit higher and come over and lift this one up and then lift it up again. Oops, my finger's too close, sorry. And then it would set up about that high and then I would go to the next one and then finally was able to get it uh, moved all the way in. Um, it wasn't very fun, um, <laughs> but uh, got, it, got it in there. Luckily it didn't fall back out. And then uh, I always nail off at the top. And so I got the, I got the top part set and uh, was able to get it leveled out. Plum, um, the flooring was done pretty good here. So I didn't have any issues with having to lift one side uh, or not. So once I got it set, nailed in, then I was able to do the header. Um, so, I mean, obviously I wanted a half inch overhang, so I have to stay on one side and I'll measure it, I'll nail it with one nail, then I'll go to the other side and double check it, and then if there's any adjustments. With one nail, you can kind of hit it with a hammer and get it moved over whatever direction that you need to, and then finish nailing off the rest. Um, this is her master suite, and her master closet, pretty good size and then her master bath and awesome dual walk-in shower on both sides so it's pretty cool probably could back out here a little bit better get a better view and there's an office over here it's another bedroom um, it's got a, a good decent closet um, i'm gonna be starting i've got three exterior doors still to do uh, once i get those exterior doors uh done up um trimmed out and then over here, the front door, the door on his master suite, and then I've got that outside garage door, uh, man door to do. Um, as well. um, another good size room. I'm not quite sure. Guest room, I could just say, but they get a huge closet in there. Uh, this is like an office for him. He's gonna do this, uh, these in these boxes. Uh, are some uh, 12, 12 inch boards uh, that are gonna be put on this wall. So we're gonna get some white oak, uh, one by eight for the bottom and for the top. And then these boards are gonna be panels uh, will be installed uh, later on, but we have to wait till the flooring goes in and then come back to work all that. So that'll be pretty fun to see at the end. So today again, um, there's the front door, there's my casing, and I'm gonna get that construction door taken off and then set that door on, get it all dialed in. Uh, sometimes there's some adjustments. You can see how the reveal on the construction door uh, is pretty tight at the top and nice little gaps uh, at the bottom. And so 
Once taking that off, we'll see what this door reveal will be. And then once we get that put on, um, and I've got it all dialed in, then I'll put the casing on and nail that in there. And then I'll get uh, the header. And then once I've got it all trimmed out, I take it off and put the construction door back on um, and hope that it closes with any of the adjustments that I have to make. Um, of course, there's the exterior going out from his room. Uh, so I'll, I'll do the same thing over there and get that one in and then we got the man door. But before I pause this again, I want to actually go over to the father's side. I think this is pretty cool though. It is two two car garage. So a four car garage here. And they did it this way. Um, the, the dad is uh, not, he doesn't have to walk outside to go visit. So that's why they kept it connected um, in there. Yeah. I think the heating element has broke on this one. It is just blowing cold air in here. Um, so little kitchenette area, uh, living room. And uh, then he's got uh, two bedrooms. Uh, that's uh, going to be a coat closet. Uh, and there's the pantry right there coming into that. Um, I think it's cool. This is obviously a laundry room. There's your washer dryer hookup. Uh, but the builder here actually puts a uh, weather strip around his laundry room doors. Uh, he says that he finds, and then of course it's a solid core door, uh, but he finds that it cuts the noise down a huge amount and has gotten a lot of compliments about uh, doing that on his uh, doors. So uh, that was kind of interesting. Hadn't seen that before. Uh, so this uh, exterior has already been set. You can see where I've, I've already trimmed it out. Um, so I've done all the exteriors over here on the father's side. And I'll put the construction door back on. Uh, we've got reveals um, turned out pretty decent. Um, you can see some of my shims left over from, uh, I cut wedges. So I have to take my chop saw to like a three, four degree, and then uh, cut the angle, flip it, cut it again, and I make my own wedges. I'm usually at an MDF, it's uh, pretty good. Uh, the headers make good material to cut out of for the fact that once you've uh, cut it and you know, used your wedge and hit it in there, they break off pretty easily, um, but they, they stay in there pretty good. So his uh, closet, uh, another door, um, it's over here, right there. So I think it's interesting, he's got, uh, the dog could come in either side. <laughs> uh, front door, so that's all been set. So, pretty interesting place. Um, I like it, it's a really wide lot to it, so they got a pretty cool shop. Um, we'll be going over there later on when it's all finished up. Uh, there's a few doors and a couple little things they'll be doing inside. Uh, not very much, so it's pretty nice.